How did I get here? I can't remember a thing. Ah! <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Jinx! Uh, is that...? No, it can't be! <gasps> it is! It's her! Fresh from the pages of the Ogler's Digest, and large as life! I have not the first clue what's going on around these parts. But I reckon I could do worse than ask a lassie here. Well, Rab, what are you waiting for? Shall no hang around forever while you pluck up what little courage you have left? Yoo-hoo! Eh, have you a moment to spare for a sweet, harmless old man, Hen? Uh, mm, hey? What just happened? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <sighs> this can he be? But, but it is! It's Dundrasil! Just as it once was! <laughs> Looking sharp, your majesty. Ah! <gasps> <laughs> oh, my... my old robes! But... but how... What in the world's going on? Would you care to enlighten me, lassie? <laughs> Walk this way. Trust you were well, Father. Eleanor, 
Erwin. It, it really is you. And, and you're young again. What's going on? Uh, Your Majesty, please forgive my insolence in seeking a personal audience with you today. I come before you not as the head of the Princess's Honor Guard, but as my own man. What? I mean, um, very well. State your business. Uh, well, uh, you see, the, um, the, the, the thing is, I, uh, uh, I, well, <laughs> I wish to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Erwin. And though I am but a soldier, and all too aware of my own lowly position, nevertheless I must persist. For there is one thing of which I am certain. My sword arm is steadfast, and my heart unwavering. There is no man alive who will love, honor, and protect your daughter as I can. Your Majesty, I place my fate in your hands. Will you allow me to continue to serve and protect your daughter, not as the head of her honor guard, but as her dutiful and loving husband? Please, Your Majesty, I beseech you. Will you grant the wish of one who would gladly lay down his life if it would prevent a single hair on the princess's head from coming to harm? <gasps> Please, Your Majesty, I beseech... Ah, I can hardly turn you down after that little performance, can I, laddie? tell you the truth, I always had an inkling you two might one day be wed. Oh, Father. It's up to you now, Erwin. Don't disappoint me, you hear? Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Where do you spring from, Lassie? And where's everybody gone? <laughs> Did you enjoy your little trip down memory lane? Well, it's not over yet.
Your Majesty, Lord Robert, the new arrival is here. <gasps> Already? <sighs> Congratulations, Your Majesty. It's a beautiful, bouncing baby boy. A boy? Luke Irwin. He's a fine wee chappy. And what a set of lungs! We'd better hurry up and give him a name before he screams the place down. Hi. <laughs> we were wondering what you thought about uh, Erdrick. Oh, it's beautiful. It sounds clever and brave and... But I've rather set my heart on something else, you know? What do you think of this for a name? Oh, uh, well, it, it, it's nice, but it wouldn't exactly be... But if that's the name you've chosen, my love, then that's the name he shall have. Mighty Yggdrasil has blessed us with this beautiful boy. And from this day forth, he shall be known as... That's it! <laughs> oh, father. <clears throat> Sorry about that, love. Never mind that. Why don't you give your grandson a cuddle? Hello, wee one. I'm your grandpa. Yes, I am. Ye oh. <laughs> What the? Having fun? <sighs> How are you doing this? These places, these memories, they feel so real. What's all this then? <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa! Get away! It's... it's you! Congratulations! <laughs> Surprise! You didn't suspect a thing, did you? We all worked extra hard to keep it a secret. Happy birthday, Lord Robert. We've had Gondolia's finest patissiers working day and night on your cake here. I trust it will be to your taste. Many happy returns, Father. 
May you live a long and joyful life, watching your grandson grow into a fine young man. Oh, you... you... you shouldn't have. Congratulations, Your Highness. The people of Dundrasil are eternally grateful for all you've done to make this such a happy and peaceful place to live. Hear, hear! And we'll do everything we can to keep it happy and peaceful under King Erwin too. Oh, that's my boys. Aye, and a great big happy birthday to you from all the lads and lassies in the tavern, eh? <laughs> Don't forget to send word when you've a new addition or two to the royal collection of <coughs> gentlemen's periodicals, will you, big man? <sighs> my people. Oh, how I love them. You're not crying, are you, Grandpa? Is something the matter? No, Larry. Everything's perfect. Just perfect. Eleanor and Erwin are living here happily with their boy. Whatever this place is, whatever's going on, I know it can't be real. This is for Grandpa. It's nice. My golly, I could stay here forever. My poor wee soldier's fallen down. <laughs> oh, there, there, wee man. There's no need for that. It's all coming back to me. We were defeated. And then the darkness came. When I awoke, I was all alone. I prayed that my pals were still alive, but I knew I couldn't rely on that. So I set out to find a way of taking on the Lord of Shadows by myself. Yes. So, I sought out Grandmaster Pang. I was trying to convince her to train me, but... But that means... All this must be... What's the matter, Grandpa? I'm sorry, laddie. 
I've somewhere I need to be. Things I need to be doing. But what? You mean you're leaving? Aye, that's right. I hate to go. Really, I do. But maybe one day you'll understand. You'll be a good boy now. Something tells me you'll do just fine. But can I ask why you want it? Because of more important things to be doing. There's a world needs saving while I'm dallying here in Dreamland. Lovely as it is. I should be toughening up, not going soft in the head. I need to be with Grandmaster Pang learning how to defeat the Lord of Shadows. And I need you to take me to her right now. After all the effort I went to, honestly, do you think I like dressing up as a bunny-eared bimbo? <sighs> Grand Master Pang, you can't be serious. It was you all along. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Wait. This is Welcome to the place where lost souls gather. The place between worlds. This is the Void. And you are courageous indeed to have ventured here. Not all of my students would dare. It's an honor to see you again, Grandmaster. Contentment is complacency. Happiness is inertia. You did well to refuse its temptations. So it was all a test then? Indeed it was. But you were not deceived by my illusions. You were not seduced by the fantasy of an easy escape. It's a start. Yes! Passed with flying colors! So you'll train me, eh? Hmm. You still have not learned to listen, I see. I said it was a start. There is work to do yet if you are to prove yourself truly worthy. You what? You must show me that you have not been neglectful of your training. That you have been diligent in your daily practice. And there's only one way to truly make sure of that. What? Not the naughty stick! And you've taken to wielding two of them, I see! Oh, Crivens! I'll not get out of this without a bruise or two! But, if that's what it takes, then so be it! Do your worst! Yeah. Let us begin. 
must use every tool to dispose of it. Or else. Perhaps you have not been as lazy as I feared. But you are still not ready. Wait, I... Still, your resolve is clear. You have shown me how much you are willing to endure in order to take on the Lord of Shadows. Perhaps you are as ready as you'll ever be. You're serious? You mean it's time? It is. You will be trained in the most closely guarded secrets of our art. But were you to undergo the full course of study, the physical body you have left behind would wither and die. As such, your training must be accelerated, and the work of years condensed into mere days. But it will not be easy. Are you ready to open the gates of hell and see what lies beyond? You had better be. You bet I am! I've the best teacher there is to guide me, and I'll gladly follow her wherever she leads me. I am very happy to hear it. By the way, the whole bunny girl thing, you know, more than I might convincing, Grandma. I could have sworn he had sworn in straight off the cover of a vintage issue of the Oldler's Digest. Hmm. <laughs> there is more to me than meets the eye, you know. I, too, was young once upon a time. <gasps> Hang on a minute. What do you mean by that, exactly? Do not question your master! You have training to be doing. We will make it easy to begin with. 10,000 press-ups. On your knuckles. 10,000 Oh yeah! <laughs> 